topic of heaven. Good morning, everybody around the world. This is Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo coming your way this morning. Um, I want to uh, us to start this morning by giving thanks to God that we saw the last day of this month. We saw the last Monday of this month. Bank holiday here in London and Memorial Day in America. Uh, and I want us and other places. I want us to thank God that you saw the first day of this month in the sanctuary and you are seeing the last day of this month in the sanctuary, not in the mortuary. Go ahead and bless the Lord. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Go ahead and bless his name. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for his mercy in your life. Go ahead and appreciate him. Father, we thank you for your protective and uncover over us for your mercy that has preserved us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, I want us to, wherever we are, I want us to be talking about prayer and destiny, prayer and destiny and vision. And we have said that the book of Abacock said, I will set, I will stand on my watchtower and set myself and hear what God will say to me. So the place of prayer is the place of vision, the place of revelation, the place of direction, the place of voices. And we'll be talking about why we must pray. We've spoken about extensively from the last week broke us why we must pray. And in prayer, there are a lot of things that are mysterious, I mean, things that are hidden. But our destiny, we are born with a destiny. A destiny is what everybody is born with, but is coded. Everybody is born with a destiny, but that destiny is coded. That, that destiny is in a mystery, it's hidden. So that it has to be revealed. So we want to pray right now, everybody. We want to pray uh, to let us know why we need to pray and why we want to pray right now is that there are a lot of things that are hidden about our destinies that are not known to us that we need to know. And that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. Uh, the Bible says in the school of prayer, Romans 8, 28, Likewise, the Spirit helped in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought to. But the Spirit himself make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be altered. Uh, with groanings. We don't know what we ought to pray for as we ought to. But the Spirit of God pray for us things that we don't even know about ourselves. The Holy Ghost deal with the unknown. The Bible says, if a man, according to 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2, when a man pray in tongues, the Bible says, how be it in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. You are speaking mysteries. You are speaking things that are hidden concerning you. As you pray in the spirit, you are praying out the will of God to be done in your life. You are praying the will of God to supersede, to prevail over your own personal will. You are praying that the will of God will be the totality of your outcomes. That what happened after 27. I now said in verse 29, for to whom he foreknown, he also predestinates. To predestinate mean to determine beforehand. Event that are determined beforehand. Events that are determined before ones. <laughs> that is things that are concerning your life that has not yet even been done. The Holy Spirit is the one that processes them out from the invisible into visible. And that is why you are going to be praying right now because the Holy Ghost is the one that does all these things. That's why we need to engage. We have to pray massively in the Spirit. You have to speak massively in the Holy Ghost. Because praying massively in the Holy Ghost is, is, is releasing the forces of the Spirit of God.
to uncover things that are hidden about me and you. If what if if, if what God has in mind concerning me and you, they remain hidden, they remain covered, then our destiny remain covered because you can't do what you don't know. So there are things, chapters in our destiny because your life and your destiny is like a book. Now, there are chapters of your life that you have not yet entered into, that heaven ordained you enter to, which I will call your next level. All these things that are supposed to be your next level, you are not going to enter into your next level without the Holy Spirit. It's the one that we're escorting to it. That we need to pray in the Spirit, massive praying in the Spirit, a massive rolling out of the agenda of God. So, the, so that the purpose of God, the predestination of heaven, can become a reality in your life. According to Romans chapter 8, verse 30 and 31, 29 to 30. And you see, we pray in the Spirit, God will make all things work together for your good. Whether the bad uh, and the good, the, even when the word the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it for your good when you pray in the Spirit. Let me go to pray right now. Magazagata, Garegezatalababaya. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, yes, just begin to speak to the Lord and say, Lord, let your will be done in my life. If you are there, you are not born again yet, and you are not baptized in the Holy Spirit, you can pray in your understanding that the Holy Spirit will do for you things you don't know and that you baptize in the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Magazegre katababaya. Rege de boboboro sabababaya. Ragababaya. If you are praying uh, in, in tongues, you can pray in your understanding that the totality of the will of God be done for you, that the purpose of God will find expression, that the purpose of God will manifest in your life. The Lord will reveal His purpose and plan to you that it will no longer be hidden, no longer be in mystery. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you are not born again, take this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you right now. Forgive me my sins. Watch me to your blood today. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul in Jesus' name. Please let me share this message. Bless somebody with it. Let somebody be blessed by this uh, uh, brokers today. Share with them and bless them. And then this week is going to be a week of fasting and prayer from Wednesday. Uh, to Friday, but today we are we are praying to the new month. We are praying to the new month, so you can join us either through Zoom on our prayer line, how to connect. We'll put all those details there on the on the platform. Uh, God bless you. The Lord causes hand to rest over you as you cross over to the new month of June. God bless you. See you this evening and tomorrow morning the new month. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.